Hello and welcome to Shark Jets. I'm Skid Viss. In this special episode, uh, we're going to deal with a problem that's popped up recently with uh, the Unity player crashing every time you're testing your application, and it has to do with Oculus integration. So we're going to go ahead and figure out how to fix that. But first, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so I know you're there and I keep making these videos. Uh, now, without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, so here we are in Unity 2020. As you can see up here, uh, I have the Oculus integration installed. Uh, and that's pretty much it. There's a plane for us to stand on and we've got the player controller loaded on the scene. And that's really it. There's no VRIF, there's nothing else other than the uh, XR system and Oculus integration. So what we're doing here is we're just gonna go ahead and test our project by hitting play. So here we are, we're inside, everything's working great, life is good. And then we click the stop button or the play button again to stop playing. And that's where the magic happens. Unity has stopped working. And then you bang your head on the desk thinking that you did something wrong, but let's figure out what the real problem here is. So uh, the first thing we'll go do is go into the project folder into its assets and just delete the Oculus integration. Get rid of that once and for all. We'll bring it back in a second. And then we open the project back up. Okay, so immediately since we've deleted the Oculus integration, we've got some issues. The OVR player controller is missing. Uh, the texture I was using is also gone. But we're going to go ahead and bring it in right now. We'll just go back into the package manager, uh, go to my assets and type in Oculus or something similar to Oculus. There we go. Now, as of this recording, we're on version 32 of the Oculus integration. Uh, maybe this is fixed in a newer version, but as of version 32, this is a headache. So we'll go ahead and import as usual. We'll go ahead and select everything just for this example. You can weed things out as you want. Okay, now you're gonna get a series of pop-ups and this is where you gotta do the right thing to avoid these crashes. So you're gonna get this first one that says it's detected a new plugin. We'll go ahead and say yes to this one. And then here we go. We've got this OpenXR backend. Now OpenXR is a new method of uh, trying to standardize the VR system, the XR systems. Um, and it seems that Oculus has introduced it into the Oculus integration, but Unity is a little behind on it at the moment. So instead of saying use OpenXR, we'll just cancel this one and bypass it and go with the legacy way of doing things. Uh, the next one says the standard legacy OVR plugin will be activated by default. And then it says restart or not now, we'll go ahead and hit restart. Then it notices that the audio spatializer plugin was found, asks us if we want to update it, we'll go ahead and do that. And then it tells us the plugin was updated and asks us to restart again. Okay, so now we're back in the project. We can go ahead and hit play. And everything's working again. And now if I hit stop, boom, everything is fine. I can hit play again. Everything's still working, hitting stop again. Everything is still good. And that's how you get rid of that annoying Unity Crash with Oculus integration. And there you have it, quick and easy as usual. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so I know you're there. YouTube helps me out and uh, I keep making more videos. So uh, until the next time, I'm still Skid Viz. Peace out.